Hi. Madam President, just very briefly, I wanted to take a few minutes um, this morning to speak about a, an event that just happened outside on the, the lawn of the Capitol here. Uh, about maybe 50 or 60 Alaskans and some uh, wannabe Alaskans gathered in a, in a rally, a march that uh, we have entitled Choose Respect. And this is an effort that has stemmed from the actions of our governor in Alaska to really shine the spotlight on domestic violence and sexual assault and to come together as communities, uh, as a state, to really speak up and to turn around the statistics that are so devastating in, in our state when it comes to domestic violence, sexual assault. So for the past few years, the, the governor has kind of led the charge um, in organizing rallies in the state of Alaska in the, the last week of, of March. Um, in the state this morning, there will be 120 different rallies going on in, in communities um, like Anchorage and Fairbanks, our larger communities, but also in smaller villages, Huslia, uh, uh, Tanana, communities where uh, the numbers are small, but the passions on the issues, I think, are very, very, very strong and robust. Uh, the governor has um, commissioners in Barrow, in uh, Tanana, in Cordova, in Nome, in Galena, all leading the march to stand up and speak out about domestic violence. And so I want to acknowledge what the governor has done in, in his effort to spotlight this, to, to really work to reduce the rates of domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse through this Choose Respect initiative. We've got great Alaskans standing together and, um, uh, again, a real commitment to make a difference. Unfortunately, and you've heard me say this before, in a state like Alaska, where I think we have unparalleled beauty, we also have um, an ugly side to our state that is manifested in, in statistics that we see with violence against women, and particularly violence against Native women. Violence against Native women has reached epidemic proportions. We are, we are at, a, at a point where two and a half times higher. Native women experience domestic violence, sexual assault at rates two and a half times higher than other races. In the lower 48, women on, on reservations are nearly 10 times more likely to be murdered. Systematic legal barriers, ineffectual and deficient law enforcement mechanisms result in women, children, and families living in fear. In, in Alaska, nearly one in two women have experienced partner violence. Close to one in three have experienced sexual violence. Overall, nearly six in 10 Alaska women have been victims of sexual assault or domestic violence. This is absolutely unacceptable. And this is the reality that we're living with as a state now. It's absolutely unacceptable. Alaska's rate of forcible rape between 2003 and 2009 was 2.6 times higher than the national rate. Uh, tragically, we see about 9% of Alaskan mothers who reported physical abuse by their husband or their partner during pregnancy uh, or in the 12 months prior to pregnancy. These are horrifying statistics, Madam President. And it takes me to, to the issue of, of violence against women, VAWA, the, the bill that we've been talking about, uh, hopefully bringing to the floor soon. Um, a measure like this, I think, is incredibly important for us to stand behind women, men. Uh, doesn't make any difference if you're from a rural part of the country or urban part of the country. It is, it is an issue that I think we know rips at the heart uh, of who we are. In, in so many of the Alaskan villages, victims of domestic violence and sexual assault face some pretty unique challenges, and they're horrific challenges. It may be that there is no full-time law enforcement presence. There's no local uh, justice infrastructure. Um, we have a we have in many situations where villages are, are are landlocked. I mean, there's there's no roads in. The only way in and out is is by airplane. So you've got a situation where uh, you can have a, a a an individual who has been uh, victimized, no law enforcement presence in the community whatsoever. It may take state troopers days 
days to, to be able to respond to an incident depending on weather conditions. So imagine yourself in that situation. You've been a, domestic, a victim of domestic violence. You seek help. There is none in the village and no way away from your perpetrator. Um, I think we recognize that one thing that we can and must do is, is make sure that there is a safety net available to address the immediate survival needs and the survival needs of their children in the short term. And only with this level of confidence can, can one gather the courage to, to leave an abusive situation. Uh, one final comment on VAWA, and then I will yield to my colleague who has given me the courtesy of the floor right now. I think we recognize in Alaska that the Violence Against Women Act does offer a, a, a ray of hope, if you will, for those who not only are the victims, but those who help assist the victims of domestic violence and sexual assault in our, in our villages. It will uh, provide for some, some increased resources to our rural and to our very isolated communities. It will help to establish a, 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 a framework for the Alaska Rural Justice Commission, which has been a, a, a great venue, I think, to, to make sure that we're all understanding what the tools are and how we, how we adapt to those tools. And it also recognizes that Alaska's Village Public Safety Officer Program um, is, is considered as that law enforcement so that the VAWA funds can be directed to providing a full-time law enforcement presence in places that have none. We've got a lot of issues that we need to work through. We believe that the reauthorization of VAWA will help us with that. So as we join with other Alaskans in the state and here in Washington, D.C., to, to choose respect for all women, for all in our communities, uh, I think it's important that there are some tools here that we can put in place uh, to help not only the people of my state, uh, but, but victims of, of domestic violence wherever they may be. And with that, Madam Chair, uh, Madam President, uh, <clears throat> I thank my colleague from Illinois for yielding, and uh, I turn it back to him. Madam President.